Just imagine going on a run throughout the forest, just on your day off to relax and break off some of that stress you've been building up all week during work. But then, the unexpected happens. Ever wonder what the worst thing out of the woods is? And it's not Old Smokey, it's this possibly unknown tale which you never would have even expected in the first place. Of course, I am talking about the 40 meter tall giant that is known as Siren Head. The most common and agreed upon characteristics of Siren Head is the fact that he's a mummified skeletal structure with a long thin neck and two sirens mounted on said neck that can rotate and move. The sirens also emit various sounds including emergency broadcasts, air raid sirens, voices, and other white noise. He even mimic the voices of humans often replicating the victims or people in distress to lure in others unsuspectingly. Despite being so tall and big, he actually moves very quietly and often blends into the environment such as a tree or utility pole in towns or forested areas until the moment to strike that is. Once it is provoked, Siren Head is incredibly aggressive and relentless. It will attack with its long arms and sometimes use sound-based attacks to disorient or incapacitate its prey. The first sighting of Siren Head in the States was in 1966 with a family on vacation in the Arizona desert which captured the image of the creature in a graveyard. And sightings have even gone further back with cave paintings depicting images of Siren Head supposedly. How long has this creature? Is it the same creature? Is there many different versions or creatures of Siren Head we don't exactly know? Now Trevor Henderson, the father of Siren Head, has indicated that there might have been multiple versions like subspecies of Siren Head, but also he's not the same as like an ordinary creature and he might have the ability to even transform depending on the era, which could allocate why there's different versions of him and why he's been spread so long throughout history as a menace. However, there is one thing in common. He's been throughout history appearing here and there, all with victims reporting just how terrifying and evil this creature is. Now, most of what we know about Siren Head comes from the aka father of Siren Head, Trevor Henderson, who in 2018 brought this creature into the public awareness, letting everybody know just how terrifying and disastrous encountering Siren Head could exactly be. And as the years have progressed, Trevor has been able to flesh out and give us more information, more information that could save your very life if you're caught out in the woods or in the middle of nowhere and you run across this diabolical creature.